Oh no, we are live. Uh, please, if you guys spoke up back, uh, I'm gonna double check if the stream is working before we even get too deep into it because usually OBS has been a nightmare and a half lately. Um, it's been crashing a lot for me, and so, so working out the kinks, trying to figure it out, you know, all that good stuff, make sure that you guys can see everything. <laughs>
the time you get a reward, unless um, certain dungeons will not allow you to get a reward. But even if you lose, you'll still get a little bit of silver and some other stuff too. So looks like in this victory, we got some. We got a good summoning. Uh, what to call it? Summoning stone. shard, stone shard, whatever you want to call it, and then some silver. And get like leveled up. Um, so per your rank, um, there is a max level that you can level up when you are a certain rank, and after that you have to take champions of your, your rank, of a similar rank, and sort of sacrifice them to get another star, which is heartbreaking because you, uh, you level up all these champions so much, and then you get attached to them, and then you have to sacrifice them, so it's kind of sad, but level up as many as you can, as much as you can, so you can have a little bit more choices and options for that. Um, but other than that, no, just, uh, have a strategy where I only play multiple battles and get my characters. A lot of my characters just have multiple characters, so that is playing with them, playing like the easiest level to get. Now that you've seen some sort of different fighting mechanisms, So like I'm trying to take a bunch of low level ones to combine them together so that I can like level all of these levels. Like level all of these levels. Level all the levels. Level all these like ones that I don't really care about to like get them into higher stars because right now I only have one three stars, but I have a bunch of two stars. Uh, and then I'll level up all the two stars. Right. That makes sense. To make them into threes. Yeah, so are you replaying those 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 uh, easier levels? I am. I'm going through it and playing the ones that are ones that we're playing right now. So the first levels, just uh, because it's easier to start them off. So Chip is sort of playing alongside us and playing some levels. Also, um, I can see a lot and you guys can see my yeah, 
Having overcome the castle guard, the company leader called to mind how the banner lords had cried out their allegiance to their king, but also to Seroth. Yeah, we'll 
I'll let, I'll let you come back. We'll come back to the question. You can talk about it for a little bit. Was the king's warring folly prompted by the will of the Lord of Darkness? Upon interrogation, a fallen knight confessed that the king had not been seen at the castle for many a month. His orders were being relayed by messenger from his encampment on the Eastern Front. This meant only one thing. The company would have to pass through the war-torn city of Arnok. And we got a war priest, which is a three ranked um, Ooh, champion. Really good. Um, she always heals all of my players. Mm. I don't yeah. know what's the armor I have on her. I don't know if it's her, but she does good um, job. I think that's uh well, you can look at you know stats and all these uh, um, abbreviations in detail when you click that, but I believe it is this uh, skill. That allows you to do that, but yes, very good player. And look at all these rewards you get for beating the boss, like, you are set. So much XP, so many different armor pieces that we can add to our champions. Well, that's a whole set of armor right there. Right. Um, so, what could be... Once glorious city of Arnok had fallen into ruin, famine, and great sorrow. Peopled by desperate refugees, it had become an unclean place made darker by unknown horrors spawned in the encroaching shadow. To go through it safely would take days, to go round it much longer, so the company agreed to pass beneath it. They would venture into the foul city sewers, albeit risking the known danger of intruding on the territory of the lizard men. Part of this game. Let's go. Let's go back over here to uh, to Chip. <laughs> um, I'd have to say my favorite part now that I have learned about it is the dungeons, because um, you just go through. And it's like playing like mini campaigns. You know, you go through and you go through all the levels, and you just get a bunch of like little potions to. I think it's called ascend. Your, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. like your characters, and so that's what actually um, it helps. I don't know, it doesn't rank them up, but what would you say it does? It just makes them stronger? Uh, yeah, I would say, I think it, like, upgrades, like, a certain skill. Yeah. And so it just makes your players stronger. I don't know, I just enjoy doing that, because all the little battles are fun, and uh, I guess another thing I really enjoy is just getting all the different armor and upgrading it, and I know it's kind of a tedious part, but I kind of enjoy it. Yeah. Um... Yeah, the ascend thing. I think it upgrades either. Is it is it skills or stats? I, I don't know because stats. it turns one of your stars to purple. Mm. So I don't know if it's like a skill or what, but it makes your people like way stronger. Yeah, right there on the screen. Acquire potions to ascend champions. I don't know what it <laughs> exactly does, but it has made my people really strong. So yeah. Yeah, I mean, it got chipped to uh, level 25, so you guys can do it, too. Super easy. We're on level 7 already. Oh, we're cruising. Yeah, it's really easy to get to level 15. I think I got to 15 in, like, an hour. Mm-hmm. But I also was playing, like, a non-stop <laughs> an hour, but it's doable, man. That is essentially what we're doing right now, as long as uh, she loads. But Yeah, what's happening? Uh, I wonder if it's downloading, because I've never seen the numbers before. Right, yeah, I think it's just something, we, we had just updated uh, the game right before we started playing, so this might be just like um, some different pieces that I had to just download on their own. 
But yeah, no, um, actually, this is a perfect time to talk about it because it does turn, like, your rank, one of your ranked stars purple. Yeah, and so, like, I've got some, uh, like, three of my stars are purple. Wow, that's a lot. Like, it takes a lot of potions. I have spam played all the dungeons. I just keep playing them over and over again. I think it's, like, my favorite part. And you can set them, like... You can, it's a little button, you get 30 a day, and you can play like 30 um, maxes in a row, just like on auto, or you can like do it yourself, and you just get 30. Yeah, I'm looking at the um, those, those auto, what was it called, like auto battles or whatever. Yeah. Um, it's kind of a little bit yeah, I'd like to just put some parts of the campaign and just put some parts of the campaign. Okay. 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 Okay.
we're stuck. We're stuck. Yeah, I don't know. It's not really gonna do anything. Ah! Oh. We leveled up, we unlocked the tavern. That's uh. Okay. Oh man, look at this tavern. There's some rock drop here. This is the tavern, the main place where you upgrade and improve your champions. You can sacrifice weaker champions to gain XP and level up quickly. Leveling up increases a champion's stats, making their skills even stronger. So, just looking at this, you can sacrifice, you know, a weaker champion to upgrade uh, and make them stronger. So, we'll do that. This is that one. Spike, spike. Um, you can also really upgrade them. When a champion hits the maximum level for their rank, you need to upgrade their rank to keep improving them. Each new rank increases a champion's level limit. To upgrade a champion's rank, you need to sacrifice champions or chickens of the same rank. The number of champions you need to sacrifice depends on the rank. Yeah, I haven't really gotten many chickens before, but yes, these are both level 3 to come from someone on that Sacrifice any now, also, uh, you can't upgrade and so you can the level. Uh, you can ascend champions by using potions to unlock new skills and greatly increase their stats. A champion's ascension level is indicated by the number of purple stars. Ascension is also limited by a champion's rank. A rank 4 champion can be ascended 4 times, while a rank 3 champion can only be ascended 3 times. The type of potion needed to ascend a champion depends on his or her affinity. The best place to find potions is in the potion dungeons. Upgrading skills is the key to maximizing a champion's effectiveness. Upgrading a skill can improve its strength, such as heal or attack power, or even its buff or debuff activation chance. You can upgrade a champion's skills in two ways, either by sacrificing duplicate champions or by using skill tomes. Skill tomes come in three different rarities, rare, epic, and legendary, with each able to upgrade the skills of different rarities of champions. Epic skill tomes can upgrade uncommon, common, rare, and epic champions, but won't work on legendary champions. Epic and legendary skill tomes are extremely rare, so don't waste them. You never want to use a legendary tome upgrading a rare champion. Always, always. Good. Oh. 
how to pronounce it. So then I'm going to pronounce it.
Even when you leave the so this is not the go to the bathroom. You can go off. I'm going to help you. So, I'm going to go to the stage. 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 stuff so um take a little bit so it looks like we got a death hound level one we can wait for that to to load in so you guys can see the champion that we just received from winning this battle takes a second Those part of the undead hordes, and these are important too because when you get rings, rings um, improve skill levels and stats of what your character is categorized as. So it'll either be an elf or a undead horde or lizard um, man. Huh? Lizard sure. man, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we can show you guys this later. We'll keep moving. Oh yeah, that's what um a hound looks like. So, oops, I just put that but creepy little dog with a thing. Um I haven't really played with the champion bandit much, so I added him to the give him a give him a chance, give him a try. <laughs> Already. Really? 
So you can join a clan, um, share experience and advice with other players, um, explore clan activities. So you can help your clan climb the ranks and take part in clan versus clan tournaments against other players. And you actually get clan rewards. So you can complete clan quests and earn clan gold and then head to the shop. And you can get exclusive loot that only clan players get, including new champions. So that's super exciting, but we'll wait for Megri to come back to uh, check that out, because I feel like we shouldn't do that without her. So we'll just keep playing. <laughs> After dispatching the lizard men tainted by the shadow, the company waylaid a messenger bearing a missive from the king. They demanded that he direct them to the royal encampment. 
Trembling for his life, the emissary pleaded that he knew nothing of such a camp. He had only ever received the sealed messages from a hooded knight at the catacombs of the Temple of Narbak. Emerging from the sewers, the company set their compass northeastward and began a long and arduous trek to the catacombs. Mm, so lizard men is taking forever to load in. Give him a minute. Sometimes, you know, running up like the laptop is a little bit different than running up the phone. It goes a lot quicker on the phone. Okay, so he's super cool looking. Can be a offside dude. He's pretty badass, I might say. Kinda want to make me to see him before I click him away. Maybe we'll wait, maybe we won't. We'll give her 15 seconds. We have some interesting powers. Cry for blood. And feral hunter. It's pretty cool. A vicious rip. Oh, and he's an aura character, so that's exciting. Oh, click all that. Um, why does she come back? Oops. Um, oh, so we leveled up to level 10, and we just unlocked the clan, so I needed to check that out before we came back, because I didn't want to do that piece without you, but we also just got a new champion, he's a star rank 3, he's a lizard man, and he's super cool, and he's also an aura character, so it's pretty darn cool. Well, all that sounds really awesome. Yeah, you missed a lot. Just carrying this whole thing. Wow. Back, kind of oh. I think you kind of need a snack. A snack? Yeah, I might try to snack this in. Okay. I've worked, my, uh, worked for my snack. Okay. Uh, yeah, this all looks really good. That is really cool. That is really cool. I thought I looked badass. What is um, vicious. vicious rip, cry for blood, and feral hunter, and it's an aura character. Very exciting. Sounds awesome. Uh, clans though. Um, so. Oh. 
It's not a multiplayer game, but you guys can work together to achieve a common goal. Right now, uh, clan bosses, which are huge XP bring bringer inners, <laughs> um, are unlocked at level 17. But yeah, um, you can spend some gems, make your own clan, or join a different one. And eventually, I would really like to um, have my own clan. Maybe after this stream, I will put one up for you guys to join, or I will look into that as we go, um, and let you guys know if I can create a clan for everyone to join, um, so I think that would be awesome, it looks like you guys, um, achieved some good daily goals and a bunch of tasks and missions and challenges, which is good, um, so let's play my all that good stuff and uh, move forward. Check out these new champions. They're pretty cool. We have our bandit guy. Thrall. Uh, this is our death hound. We didn't get to see that, but now we get to see it now. Zombies everywhere. Um, this guy. I got an archer. And then. Sacred Order character. So, awesome. And we also have been playing for about an hour now, so we get some playtime rewards. And I was I got actually click and playing. Not stuff. Yeah. And then I'm not sure. You get extra rewards by using Polarity Play. Oh, you, did you beat the, you beat the boss? Yes, we did beat the boss. Oh my goodness. Oh, and now. So that's what tells you that. And then, um, we can move down. Hmm. Also, at the bottom of the screen, you can get rewards too. There's rewards everywhere. Yeah, you gotta like save it. But I was like, I'm not gonna have to save it. Because I need a little stop on the top of it. There's like five. Right. Alright, let's let the, let's let the campaign speak. At last, they arrived at Narbuk, where the temple was now consecrated to the cult of Siroth. Guided by their torches, they entered the catacombs, where the wind howled with the anguished screams of the restless dead. As they sank deeper into the vaulted galleries, a voice on the wind became ever more distinct, now echoing words of protest, now prayers to Lamea, the goddess of light. Fearless leader, our healer. Wow, this one's a level three. That's the one we just got, huh? Uh, yeah. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I've been trying to level up this. Giving them, giving them a fighting chance. Ha 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 ha.
fight in classic arena and earn medals to upgrade great hall bonuses. Have we unlocked the great hall yet? I don't think so. I'll have to look next time we're in the, the big map. Gotta love these uh these tips. I am really played Arena Mode, have you? Much? Arena? Yeah, I think that's when you could play against people, like real people. Oh yeah, I'm kind of like a bit unfair in there because I've got my like level 40, level 30, and like level 35 character. And I just like annihilate people, it's not even fair in there. What are their levels? Like 6. Ten or twelve. I don't know. It's, I mean, it gets more difficult in like higher levels as like you progress through it or whatever. But mm -hmm. it's a little unfair because my guys are just stacked. And yeah, so you are playing against other like real people or are they like, NPCs or? I think it's their characters, but like auto. I see. It's like other people's like characters, but like. I see. We're doing we're doing pretty good. Our team is growing and getting better. We're at, we're getting pretty deep into the campaign so far. Gotta build them gradually. Nah. You can't just wait until you run out of options. Yeah, don't make the same mistakes. The same. Why it's only upgrading four or five? Yeah. 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 All right, we are cruising, cruising through the catacombs. Of, I can never pronounce like any, any of these like. <laughs> so they sound cool in my head. I'm just not gonna embarrass myself and say them out loud. But yeah, I'm looking right now, and there's a lot of different events that uh, you guys can participate in for the anniversary. Um, earn points. Awards and coins and all sorts of stuff. There's stuff for, uh, you know, the Catholic Day that I had just passed. What was that yesterday? Yeah. Happy Holy Day. Love up again. Oh, yeah. We unlocked the dungeons, which we'll get into. Soon. So yeah, happy belated to have the video. Oh yeah, right now I'm uh, you know, anniversary point and there's one called the Path of the Clover. I mean just just dive right into it. All sorts of good stuff. And then 
and there's, there's a reward on there that I'm earning right now, but I didn't even know I had been unlocked in this whole time. Yeah, I was trying to say there's also a reward elsewhere. Yeah, everywhere you click, there could be some rewards. So, there you go. <laughs> Be thorough when you play this game. These are things that I'm still in. And we're, we're all learning together. Right. Just arriving and surviving. I really like the music, I never really get tired of the music. that you need to tend to different parts of the We're in the catacombs, that's where we are. Catacombs is kind of tough because I think that's when, when um, characters can start to poison stuff. So, yeah. not really rocking with that, but. I think the point where you have smoke. Mm. And it's Yeah, they don't care. Barrier arena away from what people get to people who cut. I think that's pretty well rounded. All I can say is make sure you're not going to fall off the side of the side of the side of the Sacrifice. 
Let me see. The character is because that's really important with playing because as it starts getting more difficult, you have to start leveling them up because you can't go against a 12 under, uh, when you're like a 6. So, pretty straightforward. But yeah, making sure you're going to that tower, making sure you're upgrading armor, upgrading your person, that's really going to help you a lot in all these battles. If you're starting to get stuck, it's probably because you need to upgrade your people help, you know, rank them up and their armor and everything, so that's my wisdom. That is my wisdom for this game, is don't neglect that. And sometimes when you put armor on there, you get better armor as you keep going, so when you can sneak armor out, you know, so you all of a sudden you look to have like a chest plate that's only a one star in common, and then you get like a or for your three stars, whip it out, so you do more for your person. What do we got? Invite friends. And get shards as a gift. <laughs> chips walking away with some chips. Uh, that's actually how she got her nickname, Chip, um, was because that's her favorite snack. So <laughs> she's always crinkling something in the in the back, the background of our of my streams. So. Um, also, Squid Flash 2020, congratulations for making it to level 12. Mm -hmm. Almost to that 15 mark. Right. That's exciting. Use those promo codes. Get the stuff. I'll be dropping another one. Have you used the promo codes on this one? I just used one. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'll be putting them up in the search bar, even though you, we can't use them every like 24 hours or whatever. I did use one. Uh, we used four years raid. If you missed that, um, you can either refer back to my um, my previous stream, or um, I could put it in the chat. I'll put it in the chat right now. There's also another one uh, in the chat right now. Um, but you guys can check it out. I can spread those out so that you guys can see them better because it's uh it's up with my download code as well so I think if you're using my download code um I appreciate it and I hope you guys are enjoying the game as much as we are uh, last fun game I was just obsessed with with some wizard in one I've never been so obsessed with a phone game before yeah, me either. Yeah, I don't. I don't really. Well, it's it's mobile and PC. So. Yeah, and um, actually, Raid Shadow Legends allows you to do cross play, so PC players can play with mobile players and vice versa. So. So yeah, let's uh let's walk through the category. We are doing really good. Um, we've built some pretty well-rounded characters so far. Um, and our, our war priest is uh, doing a great job of healing each every, every so often that we need it. So. so yeah, I appreciate uh, Raid Shadow Legends for the sponsorship as well as you guys for playing the game. Uh, building up and being a part of the process. Yeah. This this sponsorship is really opened me up to play this game and check out something new that you um, might not have before. So checking out a huge way to um, diversify my my gaming experience for not only myself but you guys. But yeah. Um, the company crashed into a chamber to find King Taba strapped to a chair, his captors forcing a brew down his throat. 
They made short work of the aggressors, then cut the king from his binds. I have been bewitched, he began in rasping breaths, forced to declare war on Arabia. Then, handing them his royal signet, he said, Ask Queen Eva forgiveness for my forced betrayal. Thank her for giving refuge to my people and request her help to find the cause of this, this shadow. I love that. The story is really animated. Like, not, not animated in the sense of, um, well, the art sounds really cool, but just like you can hear uh, the voice actors do a really good job of portraying the feelings of these characters and stuff and, and taking us through this story of um, the campaign or this game. Um, I can't remember what I was talking about, but anyway. Um, so, like I had mentioned, Raid Shadow Legends is sponsoring our community and our stream for today. Um, I just want to mention once again that this is free to play um, on mobile and PC. Um, it looks really good, sounds really good, it's super fun, super addicting, super simple, super fun. I mean, what more would you want in a game? Uh, it is actually, um, fun fact, it is the top three RPG game on mobile with 15 million downloads. And we are helping even grow that community to be even larger, which is awesome. It's such a it's such an awesome thing to be a part of, especially on their fourth anniversary. I think they're really um, kicking it up and um, bringing really great things to the table, as we can see some of these events, which I'll take you guys through. Um, I can take you guys through that right now, actually. We can explore some different things. Um, but yeah. Explore the game, definitely dive into it. I recommend even just checking it out um, if you're even a little bit interested just to get a feel for the game. Um, go the team, playing some gory, and either some play, player versus player, dungeons, or So I recommend it. Tip recommends it. We got some great stuff going here. And as you can see from the overlay, we've got a lot of people who um, are helping this community grow as well. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you for the support. Through this um, sponsorship. Um, I really appreciate you and I really appreciate uh, Raid Shadow Legends for this option. Um, let's claim some uh, playtime rewards. Um, check out the cool and some stuff. Oh, we can play some. So we got four and four days. Let's see if it's good stuff. Um, so this is a great haul. Um, so you can develop your champion, the whole um, by upgrading your stats. Um, you can directly do that, get some information about that. Like I said, the game will always help you out. Um, there's always information about whatever you need to figure out, um, within the, within the thing that you're trying to figure out, so. Uh, let's see, where are my events? Where's my event tab? I guess that I'm still running. Uh, I'm not sure we have unlocked the event tab yet, have we? Because it, it is right here, right? So. Music really. I'm vibing with the music right now. I keep forgetting that we started from the bottom. Well, let's let's uh let's summon some champions together, shall we? Always yes. Champions are awesome. Looks like we got 
Yeah, oh man, level one. Keep the party going. Unlock another one. Mr. Milliken, level one, rank one. We got two more. Hopefully we get some, some higher rank ones too. We got doubles and for the final one. Even some, some doubles so we can upgrade our champion. I'm gonna four Appreciate ya. Uh, so this, let's see our champion. We'll see if we can tell him that. This one could use some armor. We haven't put armor on our uh, on our people in a hot minute, so let's, let's do that. I gotta hit, you know, usually when you upgrade, you have to uh, upgrade that. Okay. That would make a lot of sense. I get three of them. Yeah. These are the stuff to work with. Like I said before, each artifact is really sort of. So make sure to diversify um what they put on the space there. Don't just put all on one. Because that will make it uneven. We'll go back and upgrade them. Yeah, you can just click it this way and let it kind of keep it spinning. But I think you don't click so much. It's probably that, but fuck it all. We'll be here. Upgrading. Upgrading is super important for the process. I don't know, it has a nice seat to it.
two or three years to give us the way that I'm doing it. And you could just kind of sit back and you know, you know, come back to it. Save, uh, save some clicks on your own videos. So yeah, that's as far as I've noticed, but yeah, some of them only last a few days, some last maybe a week, some might be tied to different events in the game, so uh, uh, it's important to, you know, realize that they're always keeping things fresh, you know, there's always new events and stuff happening, I mean, because I've been playing, things have been new, like, almost every single day, if not within a couple hours things will change, so, um, yeah, this game is always keeping it, keeping your interest, keeping things fresh, keeping things new, so, uh, and I think that's really important, especially, um, when you're talking about keeping people's attention, um, I, think, uh, I think it's really awesome that they're doing that. Challenging areas of the game for players to progress when playing Raid Shadow Legend. So, already, that's a interesting. Often you are forced to, to choosing to invest in champions you might not otherwise invest in to enable you to complete the faction. Um, so, choosing champions for that area seems difficult. There is an, an, an advice. They've advised players to try and progress in fact as soon as you can, even if you can only do the early floors, um, because you can force them to be able to craft artifacts that invaluable glyphs which will boost your substats on artifacts. That's really cool. But it seems really difficult, so go into that with the mindset that it might be a little difficult. Alright, this is what the dungeon map looks like. So let's see that all sorts of different stuff. And I can on here. Uh, so yeah, some of them are here permanently, while others switch out every couple days or so. Um, I had played the Spider's Den recently today, and that one is incredibly difficult. Have you tried oh, that one? Oh yeah, that one is so hard. 
yeah, spiders keep spawning and it can't kill them all. So go into this one with an open mind and very, very heavily staffed champion of his mind. And like, I can't even see it yet and I'm at level 23 and Chip, how have you made it very far into it? Not even close. So let's start with this one. Very nice and easy. Stage one. We got level fives reviewing this, so as you can see, these progress very, very, very high. Um, up to level 260. I don't even know that was possible until oh just God. now. That's insane. I don't know if I could ever do that. Unless, like, my people were leveled up and I just went from dungeon to dungeon beating them, but that's gonna take me some time. Level five is a great place to start. Um, but there's some potion drops that will help you, um, Level up your character champion stats as well as some artifact mystery shards. This one will is guaranteed to give you a, a, a large level champion, um, as well as the silver and some other um, XP bonus. So, so anyway, let's get the player and start playing. I'll show you guys what dungeons look like. So it looks like we can play with five. Uh, characters. So our characters are not leveled up too high. This may be a little premature for what we're doing, but that's okay. We'll do the best we can. Um, strength in numbers, right? So we'll just keep by clicking on the one. one is kind of level up a little bit. So we'll see how far we can get into it and see how um, high we can get our champions to level up. So yeah. That is Looks like we're still loading. I think I uh, still had a little something to download from earlier. You can see it's on 94 out of 95, so just give it a moment. She's, uh, she's loading and downloading as she goes. Yes, 
So I will drop another um, promo code in the chat right now. You guys can check that out. Oh, we're, we're doing it. This is all right. This is the dungeons. Now, this is not the campaign. So, yeah. This is the left. So what I like to do is, um, I like to keep it on auto, um, when I battle these, um, you know, everyday enemies, but when we get to the boss, I don't really like the way that the auto chooses to handle the boss fight sometimes, because it'll focus on these sides people and then the actual boss will heal it and revive them and revive them and revive them so it pretty much goes nowhere and my character will die. So focusing on just killing the boss is, is something that the auto just doesn't prioritize so I like to take it off auto and make it when it comes to the final round. Um, so yeah, the three years. So we'll see here what they do. So this one's a little easier but yeah, it seems like they're focusing on so. Uh, I don't think this is the thing that can happen with the first, the first dungeon, but definitely as we go back and I think that there are bosses that want to get a little bit of so that definitely goes to an issue. And you know what, um, I think any time that I do a dungeon, and if I can make it to the boss with all of my champions still alive, even if you can't go on the house, like, you're in a pretty deep spot. which reduced to ascend champions, which we had talked about earlier in the stream. Um, the other tournament points and silver, so keep checking along. And I think it was a really well up one. You know, we did the last dungeon, we get kind of a lot of XP for dungeons with the small
unlock the great hall. Unlock powerful bonuses and maximize your defense. We're gonna keep checking on this uh, dungeon though. We're making a great strike.
have to go. Thank you. I feel like I'm making the same mistake chip day by broke down this way, right? Oh my god. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it won't work later on, but it works now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Right. No, honestly, it's not a word. Right. Right now, one of our champions died before we even got the rest of the time. So, something tells me we won't come up with it. That's the time. Feel, feel good. 
to my room world. I'm proud. You're full of proud moments. The Lone Warrior. He deserved it. He didn't? No. He deserved it too. Honestly, he deserves a little bit of uh, upgrade time. He gives some nice armor or something. Yeah, I will. For sure. But I'm gonna give you guys the last promo code. Uh, I can't take it in because we already did that. Oh no! Well, I did put it in the chat already, the fire started one, so... Enjoy that. Because <laughs> I can't take it in right now. But yeah. You will. You will. Oh, he doesn't even have a weapon. He's going around here with no weapon. No wonder why he's struggling, but I have no weapon in this one. You're right. He deserves it. I don't know if he can upgrade it, but I'll do my best. Nope. Okay. Why is it failed, you know? Also, he, I had not even upgraded his, his gloves, so... You know what? He did the Donald most. He did the most. For what he had. And he was successful. So, appreciate you. He's holding on the fort. I'm gonna get a bunch of... I thought it was the last level before. Oh my gosh! I had none of his stuff upgraded. And he still won. Perseverance, but anyway, you were saying. I guess. I just keep upgrading my storage for chances. Right. This little fella is doing the most. For what he had. He did more than the most. He deserves a break, but he's not gonna get one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Alright. Alrighty. Oh, I don't even have a sh wow, I don't even have anything on anybody. I don't. Well, I don't think I really have, you know. I don't like to up the farm yet. I didn't really get it out of the campaign. I wanted to get it out the campaign. Oh, the campaign to go. Wow. Doing my best. I might. It'll be okay. Do the tavern. We upgrade them. This one gives you max. I never know who to use that on. Who to use it on? Like, oops. Like a max. Like this, like once you click it, it's a max XP barrel. So it says instantly increases the champion's levels to the highest level for their rank. Uh, do I save it or do I use it? Where's the example? All right, you're right. Well, do He's a level three, and he could use some help. 
Are you sure you want to use a keeper? Yeah. He deserves it. Oh my goodness. Level 30. 500,000. We don't even have that much silver. Oh no. We gotta wait. Oh, we just need a little bit more. That. Yeah. Yeah, he's high. Nice. 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 He's in the camp. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. We'll sacrifice some lower level champions for. I'm gonna use some of my silver, but. <laughs> and upgrade some skills. Oh, yeah. I gotta upgrade some skills, though. We gotta use some silver, we got. I mean, we've been getting, but like, at, at what cost? Poor Grumbler was working overtime. Hellraiser got increased, that's good. The War Priest also deserves some love here too. And yes, of course, Rumbler's gonna get some upgraded stuff. He deserves two. He gets two. Because we appreciate the the effort. Yeah, we'll, we'll gain that silver real fast. We already got five times in there. Oops. I was passing dungeon charm, so we, we did. Mm. Oh, what a... Ooh, 20,000. Another 20,000. Another 20,000. So yeah, oh, we're at 500,000. We could fully oh, upgrade. Oh, oh. Uh, I know we got to do those playtime bonus rewards. Don't forget those. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna see the grumbles that are you ready? It's a big moment. Here goes Grumbler. Oh yeah! This is a huge one. Oh my goodness. Look at he's so happy. He's so happy. He's like, I put all that work in. Finally, that's it. Now we can't upgrade him. His rank, but we're all just sacrificing somebody. Yeah. Maybe I'll do you all upgrade on these guys that I don't want to use. Yeah, I, I haven't been playing the campaign, so I gotta play the campaign. It's just gonna be all. The campaign was kind of funny. Oh, we can collect some stuff in the campaign too. Stuff to collect everywhere, you guys. Don't, uh, don't sleep on it. Okay, let's go to the forest. Oh, we haven't even clicked through the chapter yet, so here we go. To gain entrance into Aravia, they would have to pass through the dark wood to Felwyn's Gate. After a three-day trek, they reached the edge of Durham Forest, home of the Dark Elves. The Elves promised safe passage to those who would pay the toll. Showing them the signet of the king, the company claimed right of way as bearers of the monarch's word. But the Dark Elves recognized neither king nor queen, and attempted to take their toll in blood. Let's battle it up. What do we got? Our leader, Rumble. Always a good choice. Smart choice. Gonna destroy he, he is. He's our highest level now. He went from 8 to 30. He's gonna destroy, and it's gonna be so unfair, and I'm just gonna <laughs> love it. Look at him. <laughs> I'm like a bad bitch. <laughs> oh, still. Come on, my guy. The upgraded ability is so good. 
press the eggs in the wrong basket. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not disappointed in that. You made a good decision. Okay, let's see if we can get this Obviously, these are the highest of these, so let's have all some other people. Give some other people a chance. Anyway, you click multi battle, and I'm not going to do all 30. Let's do, let's do 15. Let's do half that. And then you hit start multi battle, and it will let you run the same stage multiple times in a row automatically. So let's put that auto. Um, you can get a bunch of rewards, a bunch of armor and stuff, so it's a really great way to keep uh, everything going. Um, and you want to make sure that all these are selected so that it can continue as you go through. Um, we're going to give you a little break here, but um, we'll keep these multi battles going so you guys can see how that works. And so, Enjoy that. I can take a little break here.
Well, level 15. I am so, 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 so happy. The big 1-5. So that's one of the goals. And you guys can see how easy it is achievable just within our stream.